Health and safety is at the forefront of everything we do, and it is important to take health and safety into consideration when undertaking any tasks. This section is a guide to help you be aware of hazards on site and how to prevent incidents to yourself and others. Preparation. Before going out on site, it is important you have your safety and the safety of others in the forefront of your mind before undertaking any task. Being under the influence of drink or drugs on site is strictly forbidden. If you have any social events planned, do not accept shifts where you may still be under the influence the next day. PPE must be brought to and worn where necessary on every shift. No exceptions. Steel toe cap boots must be worn at all times without exception. If your boots are old, worn and unsafe, you must get a new pair. If you are on any medication, please make sure your manager is aware of this and make sure the medication is safe to take whilst at work. If you suffer from any illness that might affect your work, please make sure your manager is aware of this. Make yourself familiar with the Silverback Health and Safety Intranet, where you can find all of our health and safety procedures, crew handbook, and much more. Make sure Silverback have an up-to-date emergency contact number if you were to be taken ill or suffer an injury. On site. Whilst on site, always maintain a high level of health and safety. Do not put your colleagues, clients or members of the public in danger by your actions. Ask for advice and guidance if needed. If you see anything that you deem to be unsafe, stop and report to your crew chief. Always use the correct lifting techniques and lifting aids where possible. Don't be afraid to ask for help you will encounter equipment of all shapes, sizes and weights. It is important to take care of this equipment as well as yourself. Familiarise yourself with the area you're working in and the path to and from the different areas of work. If you're running cables, make sure they are not creating a trip hazard. If so, use the correct taping techniques to create a safe working environment. Do not stand on a flight case at any time. If required to perform a task that is out of your reach, you must use a set of ladders. If using ladders, always make sure you are wearing your hard hat. If you are working above 2.5 meters, ask somebody to foot your ladder. They also need to be wearing a hard hat in case anything should fall from above. When footing a ladder, concentrate. No mobile phones, no chatting. If at any point work is being carried out above you, you must wear your hard hat. Report any accidents or near misses to your crew chief immediately. This way, a plan of action can be put in place and we can prevent this from happening in the future. Your crew chief will be first aid trained. If more assistance is required, then your crew chief will arrange further assistance. If an accident should occur, report this to your crew chief straight away. Also log in and fill out our accident report form online on our health and safety intranet. A lot of your work will be carried out in various venues. Should the fire alarm sound, then please follow the fire alarm procedures for that venue. At times there will be large plant machinery being used on site, such as scissor lifts and forklift trucks. Always wear your high-vis vest and stay well clear when plant machinery is being used. Do not attempt to use any plant machinery if you do not have a valid license or the correct training. If you get asked to do something you consider unsafe, report to your crew chief for advice. Above all, stay vigilant. If you and your team have health and safety at the forefront of your mind, the chances of there being an accident are greatly reduced. <laughs>